I'm going to just finish off by maybe adding a few backdrops and color coding them and naming them. So we've started off with our hair and I'm going to make the hair just, I'll choose a color from the bottom. I'm going to add a backdrop to, let's just do it to the entire head. Select it all, insert, backdrop, and call this head. Okay. I might add a backdrop to this other group right here, which would be an arm. Just choose a color for it. And let's just see which what color what that is. That's the left arm. We'll do the same with the right arm. Grab that group. Insert backdrop. And we have the right arm. and so on and so forth. I can again choose a color for that if I wanted to. Again, I know we showed this at the very beginning, but put a backdrop on the entire character. I can also do that by sort of selecting the group and insert backdrop. And again, I'll just take that and maybe make it its own color. So now I can move it as a group or I can move these whoops individually. And it makes it a lot easier to control the position of things inside your network by using these backdrops. As well as it makes it a lot easier for me to see that this is a set of legs this is an arm, this is an arm, this is a hair. I don't need to zoom in to find out what those modules say. Thank you very much for watching this, these videos on backdrops.